Hi guys, Rain here again, and um, today we got a little bit more smite. So this is the uh, game called Omnipotence, which is the current match of the day. And it seems like it is a, um, looks like it's just a normal, normal game of, uh, of whatchamacallit, of, um, of uh, conquest right now. But I imagine it'll prove me wrong pretty soon. Alright, so we are just gonna... Oh, looks like we start level 5. Alright, and we're gonna start with our bleed. Alright, if we just started at level 5, I don't really imagine uh, what exactly that would be good for, but... Okay, but you know what? We're going to find out what that's good for pretty soon. So, um, it's been a while, and uh, I actually was playing around with my mic and uh, found some new settings that I might like a little bit better. Uh, we're actually testing those out on this video, so we will see how it goes. So, we got a little bit of Kali up in this his house. Right, and we're going to be rushing a Quinn size, and I know they're, they aren't that great, especially against this team that doesn't have a you know, whole lot of stuff going for them. However, I am still considering it simply because they are uh, really, really strong. Alright, going to grab my attack speed buff, and then get Malona her... Uh, We're only going on her mana buff. Alright, looks like we have a really late mid lane. Great ult. Fabulous ults all around. I think this is a really low cooldown game. Yeah, this is a low cooldown game, I knew it. Alright, so that's what that is, but... Well, Archers, Archers OP. So it looks like this is going to be a low cooldown game, which is going to be really fun for Kali, because it means I can do a lot of the uh, Gucci shit that I normally would not be trying to do. All right, I'm starting to understand a little bit more about this. So this is, a, you know, one of the games of the day, which are, uh, you know, normal things that happen, uh, matches of the day, in which that you have a certain um, little cliche things going on. And this sort of... Oh, oh! Nope, I'm good. All right. And in this case, it is, um, they have a new one. That's going to be really annoying. She's going to be spamming that ult all day. Anyways, in this round, you have, um, really low cooldowns. And it looks like there's no mana as well. And you started at level 5, which, um, seems to be a little bit broken. But we're going to go get our Quinn size and our Fatalis. Oh, and I can actually afford my speed, my, uh, tier 2 boots as well. That'll be good for us. To see if we can't get more of these ganks off. And we're going to be looking to uh, just just to get some ganks moving along. And I think Bologna thinks that she's jungling, but I should I should be the jungler here. She doesn't even have a have a hand of the gods. So. Chase you all day. I'm not applying my bleeds until you fall over. Anyways, we're gonna go get these mid harpies now. They will be good for us. We need to get going. Uh, we haven't had a whole lot of uh, gank pressure going for us, so that is um, not very fabulous. 
right. Let's see what we got. Get some of this lane farm. Mmm. gonna try to get to our late game as soon as possible and that will be our saving grace basically gosh dang it there's the the ult I was trying to dodge that, but it was not happening. Um, Alright, so we're just going to get our speed boots then, and because we can't afford our fatalis. It's going to be about 1,800 gold off, which is a little bit a little bit out of there. But, you know, in the meantime, I can afford my, my first part of my fatalis, so we're just going to work towards that right now. And really, you know, right now we are looking at the late game. That is going to be our gray, is just to get to that late game. I don't know what Bologna's doing, farming all of my jungle. It's really kind of pissing me off, because, as you see, you know, it's a, I'm not really that far behind, but I'm, you know, up with their best people. But taxing like this is really a dick move to do. You should just not tax. Don't tax your jungler. He's going to be under-farmed as it is. I just grabbed a mana buff in a game with max with no mana limits. I am perfect. All right, looks like they have a team fight going on over there, so I'm gonna try to get over there and get some of this mid farm. Nope, I'm gonna skip the mid farm. Just gonna toss some shurikens and hope you get a little bit cleared there, but we need to get there as soon as we can so that I can. Do what I can do. All right, so that turned out actually really well. Um, Shablanke is one of the definitely one of the gods you want in an infinite mana game. He, he's pretty strong. Same with Artemis. I'm not. I'm not I'm a to die. He's probably the support you're gonna want in this sort of situation. Let's just get out. Come on, jump. Where's the jump? Okay. Whew. Okay. All right, guys. That that was a little bit close for us there, but. Making use of our passive on our leap to uh, get some healing going. Gosh, they're pushing down that middle tower, and mid harpies are back up, so it's time for uh, a little bit of Killing that action. Spree. I'll get to you in a second, Nuwa, don't worry. Your middle tower is under attack. Alright, time for us to kill Nuwa. how you beat a new one with uh, super crits so I mean with um, not with uh, super cooldowns you don't want to mess with a Kali when she once she starts getting to go and I am starting to get ramping up which is gonna be good for me Your team has destroyed did he right take those I hope he, he probably did gosh dang it Yeah, I'm just gonna let them push. I'm just gonna take. Yeah, I'm. I'm gonna push. Duh. That, that, you know, that'd be a great plan, actually. It'll help me get to that point where I can get my fate talisman, so my Quincy's. I only really have money for my Quincy's now, but I really wouldn't have money for anything else. So I might as well just continue farming up while I am really not needing much. And you might be wondering why I'm playing Kali right now. I mean, she is pretty, you know, C tier as it is. She isn't. She really isn't that great right now. But the issue is that Quincy is, is getting a pretty hefty price reduction. It's going down to twenty-eight fifty. 
which is going to make it so much easier to uh, use Quinn size based gods now, which is basically cow. Gosh dang it, I, I used my ult way too early that fight. That's fine, that, that was a uh, pretty pretty hefty fight there. You know, why, I need to get rid of this mana potion. I might as well just sell it at this point. That, that was a poor mistake, I did not know what I was doing. So we got about 30 seconds of downtime, so just to take a look at this game. Um, it looks like our team is in a pretty dominant position. We're 18 to 5 right now. Not much help of myself, of course. Mostly that sh star player, Shablanki, right there. He should get a get a raise, but that is a tower for us, which is just what we needed for our fatalis, which is actually great for us. And um, it may seem like I'm just following the uh, the the build that is given to you, but actually it's a, it's a really solid build, so that's why I'm doing it. So I am going to be building my rage deathbringer and a bloodforge. So all right it looks like someone took the gold fury it's probably what gave me my gold that i needed for that item actually now that i think about it but nua is once again my target so i will be going to kill her and i'm already hitting like a truck let's get some of this uh attack speed going for us all right well this actually isn't attack speed this is a movement speed which is really going to help me get to the, my targets, which right now are going to be Nuwa uh, and Artemis, basically. So let's uh, let's see if we can't get this going. All right, let's see if we can't get over here to this Artemis. All right. And that is a what happens when you get to a late game Kali. Oh god. Oh god. Ugh. Ooh. That's that clutch stun right there. That was uh some pretty hefty work. Get some of that healing up. Make sure I'm at full health for when they spawn up in a minute and Yeah, we aren't gonna be able to push that. But anyways, that, that was a really good fight for us, and we can finally level our abilities and Go back to farming Your those right mid camps. Right tower's under attack because Blona decided she did not want to solo lane this game, apparently. Come on, you can do it. I think Mercury might have gotten onto my mid, mid camp shenanigans. Come on, you can make the jump. There's the jump. Yep, no, no, none of those camps either. Fucking Bologna, KSing me all day. That's fine. We we got a good pick there, and um, we're gonna. I'm gonna try to push in mid lane now. Right, Tusky's up there, and uh, hopefully Blona doesn't die too bad. Alrighty. Okay. So this is basically the power of the late game Kali, who can basically kill whatever she feels like. I cannot be defeated. So while we're here, we are going to go over some of Kali's uh, basic abilities. Her A is a jump, is a leap that deals damage upon the landing site, and will also heal her uh, a set amount based on the percentage of health lost by the target pretty complicated but you know basically the closer to death they are the more i heal from hitting them with my leap my a will shoots out three blades that converge upon wherever the reticle is within a certain distance of course and they 
do damage, and then stack a bleed. And lastly, oh, I'm going to get in a fight. My B move is a AoE stun all the way around me. I will not fall. Come on, jump, jump, jump. Ooh. Come on, jump again, jump again, jump again. Nope, nope, it didn't do it. <sighs> that was a, it was a little bit too much damage. That was not the brightest plan. See, they have a new lot here, which is really uh, definitely a hard counter for a um, for someone like Kali to go up against. Because Kali, a lot of times, she gets out of fights with like no health left. And then you got someone like Nuwa that can just secure kills from halfway across the map. It's a really lo rough life to live. Anyways, the B is in just a standard AoE stun. And her Y is where she gets all the flavor, which is um, she, she basically becomes unkillable for a certain amount of time. She can lose health down to zero health. I mean, down to one health. But she cannot go beneath one health while it's activated. It lasts for about five seconds at max rank. And um, also it has an AoE damage. But really the not dying thing is the big issue. And if you notice, uh, for instance, there is a, um, a Mercury in my bottom left. As well as there is a mark for him on the map whenever he's visible. And that is who my target is. And if I kill my target, I get a huge percentage of my health healed back to me. It is a very, uh, very good way to um, be able to dive in safely. All right, so I'm gonna go try to hop in and see what I can do. And there's one down, one down, two down. Tusky, go fuck yourself. And three down. And that is Kali. I didn't even have to pop my ult for that. Sadly, I don't have my Blood Forge yet, which means I have a limited lifesteal. I just have my A to heal up, um, which, um, where it, it's definitely helpful. Like, you know, I'm already halfway to full health already, but. Thank you, uh, Aphrodite. You are a lifesaver. That actually heals me up a ton. like a, our team is calling a fire giant. Alright. And I'm dead again. See, that is basically what happens with this. And it's, it's a very rough cycle. It's a very rough cycle when it comes to you. I'm thinking I'm probably going to be building a, um... I'm gonna be, I'm gonna build an active against it, and I'm gonna be debating whether or not I'm gonna use Shell of Absorption. And I just might. Or I can grab Aegis, which is the normal thing, but Aegis is gonna put me in a bad spot, so I'm thinking I am gonna give, um... No, actually, no, it's, it's gonna have to be ages. I, that, what am I kidding myself with that? Alright, so let's uh, take a, um, a second look. We got about 10 seconds left. Um, we are very far ahead of our opponents at this point, and um, we're at the point where Kali beca starts becoming basically ridiculous. So, well, if she hadn't already been ridiculous at this point. But I'm gonna be hitting all the time, I'm gonna be critting, eventually, I'm gonna be healing when I get that Blood Forge finished. And at that point, I'm Kali basically just can 1v5 teams, because Kali is, is Kali. Add to the fact that there's, you know, low cooldowns because of this uh, match of the day, and she's just uh, ridiculous. Valona seems to be in the low cooldowns as well. Alrighty. There's the double kill. The dubski. Yeah, 
gonna kill the Sarmon. Oh, my mark which means that I gain all that health back that's basically how she works that, that is what her, what keeps her alive to allow her to assassinate all these targets all right and that's actually a really good target against um, uh, against people like Odin because basically I'm just going to stun him and break his shield so he loses all of his damage Come on, the Tusky. Tusky, why you do that to me? Alright, guys. I was getting a little bit ridiculous there. Um, not quite that OP. Yet. But there's my Walking Aegis, which will be... Uh, it'll help me with a little bit more survivability against that new Wah. That new Wah be hurting. She be hurting hard. And normally, by this point, jungling, I would, you know, have things like a Tier 3 Pog and things like that. But it's a match today, and we are uh, kind of slaughtering at this point, so I don't really feel like it's necessary. All right. An ally has been slain. Now, if only these timers were a little bit shorter. It looks like we are all dead, but sadly, there's no objectives on the map for them. And this, kids, is why objective control is so crucial. Because we played pretty bad, and we got uh, kind of in a rough spot for it, and we all died. That's fine, because guess what? They can't fire a giant, they can't fury, we're pushed up to their phoenixes. They literally can get nothing out from that. Like, congrats, you stopped us from winning. We're just going to win next time, and I'm actually going to kill this new one now, because she pushed up too hard. You never want to push up this far against a Kali after. See, the bleed alone here. You cannot defeat me. What ki what what killed me? He was he mm, I don't know. I don't know. I'm a little bit upset about that. A little bit salty. I should have been able to do that. Mm. Mm -hmm. This will help us all. Don't know about that, but whatevs. All right, I'm contemplating Soul Eater. I know Blood Forge would be the better choice for myself, but with a Shablanke who has no life steal and a Bologna that has no life steal, you know I'm gonna do the better thing for the team. And just get this, uh... Yeah, yeah, get the soul. It's also going to give me a little bit of attack speed and some health. Which is, those are great stats to have. But mostly that aura is going to be really vital to my team. Ugh, it hurts to get things, items that are bad. An ally has been slain. That's fine. Hopefully that lifesteal will do really good work with Bologna and Shablanke. So we're kind of derping up, but I have as many kills as their entire team, so... And Bologna is trying to 1v1 the Titan, um, the, uh, the, uh, Fire Giant, which, you know, by all means, go for it. Sounds like a fantastic plan. Alrighty, let's see what I can't do for her here. Alright. Yep, and she's dead too. Well, let's just do gold fear to fire giant then. Boom. Actually, I'm not tanking. I'm not tanking. I have no life steal. I'm, I'm in full damage.
right, so that was actually a probably a terrible plan. All right, but let's see if I can't life steal back up from that little excursion we had there. Um, I do have that little tier one, tier two light soul leader. That'll probably uh, help me get going, but. Now, so we got this uh, this movement speed buff, which I'm hoping will get me up there in time before Shablanke and uh, Aphrodite get themselves killed. Because my target is right here. Ugh. Oh, Crowd control, you hurt so much. See, now you're seeing what happens every time I play Kali. I get really strong, and then I get really overconfident, and then repeatedly die, but... <sighs> That's fine. Um, I just need to kind of, you know, take a step back, reevaluate, not try to 1v4 as much anymore. Um, we, we're not to the point where we're five levels ahead of them all again. We are 4v5ing, so, the, you know, we have a. Uh, our friend over here, the Bacchus, decided not to play this round, so. Anyways, we are pushed up really hard on them, and uh, that's something we're just gonna have to abuse. And once I am back up, I, uh, you know, I'm just gonna start playing a little bit safer. Gonna go grab my fist of the gods and um, my power potion and a couple health potions, or just a health potion. And let's get back in this fight. Um, Basically, I'm just going to have to play a little bit more conservative than I have been. And if I can manage that, then there's no way that we can lose. Actually, at this point, we could literally just win. Well, I don't know. The three of them are coming back up. So, I mean, I'm just going to hang with the team and see what we can manage. Ooh, I really want to see her dead. Anyways, um, they, they have an Odin, which is a really strong counter to uh, Aphrodite, because her healing is reduced by the Lots Valley. Oh, yep. We did it. We did it. I almost forgot about it. It took me a second. It took me a second, because I almost forgot I had it. Alright, and now we are back to full health, and with our movement speed buff once again. Let's try to get these fire minions pushed up into their base. dead. Tusky, why you do this to me, Tusky? I, I'm just gonna stop fucking with her. That That is exactly what I will do. I will just wait for the fight before I try to assess him, because he's just gonna Tusky every time and I'm gonna get killed by the Triceratops boar. No more Triceratops boars for me. I'm done with Triceratops boars. Such a boring Triceratops. I've died the most on my team, but that's not a new thing. And that's back up. Gosh, I don't have to save my save my Aegis for the fucking Triceratops. Okay, that, so that is going to be very, very strong. We got Odin's ult right there, which is really causing havoc for our Aphrodite. Alright, so um, they're coming back in just a little bit. This is turning into, a, into an actual respectable game. Alrighty, let's see what we can do here. Alright, we got ourselves a little bit of that, uh... That Mercury right there, and um, let's actually try to not 1v5 right now. Or... Yeah, 
I'm probably gonna have to sacrifice it to a few towers. We need to group up. If we, you know, if we had a team fight, we could probably do a lot more with our time. Your left tower has been destroyed. <laughs> Tusky, Tusky, please don't, please don't bore me. Oh gosh, I, you know, I'm not even ulting in these fights. I just realized that I'm the worst Kali player ever. I'm not even using my ult more often than not. This is, just, I, I just don't, no, I'm just, I'm bad guys, I'm bad. I apologize, I apologize for being awful. Um, let's just hope Aphrodite can survive, because, like, 40 seconds with none of us around is gonna kind of blow. But if anyone's gonna survive, it's gonna be Aphrodite with no cooldowns. That's a little bit ridiculous. Now, I should've played Guan Yu. Guan Yu would've been really strong in this. Just healing for days. Ooh, Aphrodite going for the... For going for that Phoenix again. She's got the healing to do it. And there, there's that Phoenix. Phoenix. I'm actually going to sell the uh, the Soul Reaver because um, it is not doing it for me. So I need to go for that Blood Forge that I thought I wanted. To be honest, I should have gotten it. But I, uh, I thought the Soul Eater might be better for the teamwork. And it turns out it was not good enough. I can probably solo the fire giant at this point. Attack, fire giant. Yeah, no. I can just solo it. That's fine. Um, they're, they're probably they got fire giant off that. That's no big deal. And uh, now we can look at um, everything else um, we could do about that. Nope. No surrender. No surrender. No retreat. Bologna apparently is done playing, but I'm not. Oh, he starts hurting. Gosh, he he. What, what's he packing? Um, three crit items and no real power. I I I don't know where he's getting his damage from. But he just like three hit me. I need to. I don't know. I don't know what I need to do with that. really do not know where I'm going to go with it from here, but, um, it looks like Bologna is hanging out by, uh, by, t by a fountain. Looks like she has fully given up on this game. Which is really sad, because, you know, we, we, have, we definitely have a chance to win. Even with a 4v5, we showed it, you know, the first half of the game. Just gonna ping. Your middle Phoenix is under attack. And let's see what we can't do up here. What? I I hit my ult. Bullshit. Bullshit. I totally smashed that Y button. Your middle Phoenix is under attack. And Bologna's just gonna watch them win. That that's what pisses me off. Stop them! 
Your left Phoenix has been destroyed. See this scumbag blown up. This is really what I hate about, you know. I think MOBAs in general, once someone start, once the battle starts going to one, uh, you know, against you, people just totally give up. You know, they don't even try anymore. I mean, we just spent a half an hour doing this. We were 30, you know, damn near 30 kills up on them. And Bologna decided that she didn't want to fight anymore. That she didn't want it anymore. And that that's a, a big time investment for everybody involved. And basically, we wasted it because of her. Now, you might be able to blame Bacchus, you know, he never loaded in. And, um, that kind of hurts. I'll give it that. But, to be honest, someone that just watches the game end, they are probably worse than someone that doesn't even try, that doesn't even show up. Because they could have done something and chose not to. Well, we begin the game at 21, 11, and 12, um... So Blanque was doing real solid that game too. Uh, Bologna was nine seven and twenty, and um, Aphrodite was eleven and nine. Everyone on our team was positive, and everyone on their team was negative except for their Artemis. All right, it looks like I had five rampages, five tower dives, two triple kills, three killing sprees, and four double kills. That is the power of Kali. Anyways, this is Rain, and if you liked what you saw, go ahead and smash that like button. And if you want to see some more, go ahead and uh, hit that subscribe for some regular content. Rain, signing out.